Hello everyone, happy Saturday. So today's video, we're gonna be doing an August favorites. I wanna share with you guys a few things that I've been loving. It's definitely ranges from like makeup, skincare, hair care, and then also like some lifestyle stuff that I really wanna share with you. Um, but anyways, everything that I talk about will be linked down below for you. If I have any discount codes to anything, they'll be right next to the link as well. So make sure you give the video a thumbs up and let's get into it. First up, I have a moisturizer that I wanna share and this one is from Obagi. I really love Obagi products. I have like other moisturizers that I've used from them that I've been obsessed with. This one is really nice. It's called the Obagi Rebalance. It's a skin barrier recovery cream. So you do two to four pumps directly onto desired area, including post-procedure skin, morning and evening, or as needed. You can follow with SPF in the morning. So I actually just been using this as a moisturizer and it's been really, really nice. I guess it's supposed to be a recovery cream, like say if you have any treatments or anything done, but I also think it'd be really good, like say if you have any inflammation in your skin, breakouts or anything, you just need it to recover. And also if it's really dry. So, so I find this actually to be really, really nice underneath makeup. I use it every single morning and it definitely makes my skin feel hydrated, but not too hydrated to where I'm super oily, which I really love. Another skincare favorite of mine is the Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads. These are skin smoothing pads. So these have like a gentle exfoliator in them that's gonna help remove any of like that dead skin on top. It's kind of like making your makeup stick and kind of skip over. And it also helps get rid of any texture that you have on. On your skin which I really really enjoy they're just these little tiny pads I use them morning and night after I wash my face and it also allows my foundation to go on a lot smoother and they're gentle enough to use every single day I also want to share another product that is a little bit more inexpensive than this one that does the same thing is the first aid beauty pads those radiance pads so good too. So if this one's gonna break the bank for you, definitely check out the First Aid Beauty ones. Next up, I have a brush that I wanna share with you guys. So this one is from Hourglass. It's the number 15 brush. They sent this to me with their blushes that they came out with, those little liquid blushes. So good, I love those. But this has become my favorite brush to apply blushes with. It is so beautiful the way that it disperses it on your skin. It helps pick up any excess product and it's just, blends it out beautifully. It's like a duo of fibers. You can see the little bristles up on the top and then you have the denseness towards the bottom, but it is so, so good. I use it with my Makeup by Mario cream blushes, the Hourglass liquid blushes, the stick blushes from, um, what's it called, Dibs Beauty, anything. It's just, this is just perfect. So this has definitely been my favorite one. So if you are on the hunt for a new brush to apply any cream or liquid blushes, I would definitely pick this one up. It is. Awesome. Sigma came out with some brushes as well, and I have been hooked on these two, you guys. So the first one is the Soft Coverage. It's an F48, and this one is a nice, dense, angled brush. So I love using this one for foundation. It really helps build up more coverage on the skin. And I use this one with my Chantecai Skin Cushion Foundation because it allows me to get a lot more coverage with it and it just really helps me pick up the product as well from the cushion. And I've just been loving it because I can just really build up in certain areas that I need a little bit more coverage. But I also use it even with the gel foundation, the one that's in the pot, and that one is also great with it. So, and then on top of the fact that it helps you build more coverage where you need it, it also has that airbrush finish to it. So it looks really beautiful. I love this brush, it's awesome. And then the other brush that I have here is the soft angled cheek one, and this is an F43. So I actually use this guy. It's a little bit less dense than the foundation one. So as you can see, it's not super dense and it has that nice angle to it. So I actually use this now for all of my cream or liquid bronzers. It's so, so good. I will go onto like the dibs, like beauty, like contour ones and like go like that and then I will place it or I go into a more cream bronzer, which I'm gonna share this favorite with you guys as well. And I can really help place it where I want it to go and it helps really nicely blend everything out. So this has been my new favorite brush for doing my contour. All right, so talking about cream bronzers, this is the one that I've been loving from NARS. It is the Laguna 02 Original. It's their bronzing cream. 
I love this stuff. I love the formula of it. It's really pigmented. It's also very, very creamy and hydrating. And what's really great about it is that it blends out really, really nicely on the skin and easily. Because I feel like when you have like a, kind of like a product that might be a little too dry, it could skip on the skin or it could pull, like, you know, move the foundation or whatnot. And this one actually goes really beautifully on there and it's easy to blend out. So this has been one that I've been loving using lately. Next up, I have a powder that I love and I always have a powder on hand. I love a pressed powder when I'm out and about because I tend to get a little oily in my T-zone and you can see it kind of like coming right now. And this Too Faced one is their Born This Way Soft Blur Flexible Finishing Setting Powder in the shade Light is amazing. One, I really like the compact, how it's nice and thin, so it doesn't take up too much space in my purse. And then it comes with a great little mirror, and then you have the powder here. And I'm actually gonna use some of it right now. And I just use it on like a little brush like this. I have like a brush like this one in my purse at all times. And I just go in, and I just go and just slightly go over those areas that I'm a little bit shiny. And I like it because it doesn't really add much powder or more makeup on there. It just helps get rid of that shine and those oils. That is really, really nice. So I just use this to kind of touch up through the day. Next up for a hair product that I love and I cannot go without using, this is from Kerastase. I actually have this thing like honestly more than halfway gone. And it's their Blonde Absolute Psycha Plasme. But basically it's like a leave-in conditioner, but it's also a thermal protector. It's like to help protect your hair from any heat styling products. I blow dry. I use a curling iron. I'm using tons of heat products. So I want to protect my hair to help preserve the color and to also the quality of it. So this is basically a universal fortifying heat protecting serum for lightened or highlighted hair, which is my hair. And it instantly unifies damaged areas of the fiber, provides smoothness and lightness for flawless blonde hair. So if you're a blonde, you will love this. So I use this every single time I wash my hair. And what I do is I just wash it, I get out, I put a little bit of this in the palm of my hands, and I rub this through all so that way I know I'm gonna help protect it. And then I also add in the Kerastase, they're like, gold oil. I forgot what the name of that one is, but I use that one too. And I focus that one more on my ends to make sure they're not too dry. But I love it. I can't go without using it. It is so good. Now getting into more lifestyle products. The first one that I have here is a watch band. And I actually just got a compliment on this one just this past weekend. I'm obsessed. So I actually have another gold band that was pretty expensive from Apple that I use with this one when I'm playing pickleball because this one I can't really do. It just moves a little bit too much on me. When I'm not playing pickleball and just for every day, I love this band because it makes it look more like a watch. I feel like it really elevates the look of it. And also what's really nice is that it was really inexpensive. I think it was maybe like $10 on Amazon and it doesn't change colors on you, nothing. It stays and looks really, really good. Like people have no idea that I got this from Amazon. I'm telling you, Amazon is like my new place to go for jewelry. I always get compliments on my jewelry and I'm always like Amazon for like nine bucks. And they're like, what? They go, that looks like actually like really expensive. I was like, no, Amazon. I go, it's the best way to go. I feel like then you don't have to worry about it if you lose it. And also the trends are always changing. So you're not like investing. Like I would say invest like when it comes to jewelry into like really good, like basic statement pieces like that you would have forever. But for things such as like your chunky statement necklaces and stuff like that, those are going to come and go. So it's really good to get those on Amazon. But I love this watch band. Like I said, really inexpensive. Awesome. I'll have it linked down below and get it on Amazon. Next up, I have some sunglasses, and these ones are a bit pricier, but I really like good sunglasses. I take good care of them. I really haven't bought a pair of sunglasses in really, really, like, years, I'm telling you, like, probably since college. And these ones right here are actually a gift that Ross gave me for my birthday, but they're by the brand Christian Dior. A little pricier, I'm sorry, but they are so cute. I get so many compliments on these all the time when I'm out. They're comfortable and they're just really flattering and I feel like they just kind of give a really cute style and I'm obsessed with them. So I love these. They fit really well for my face shape and size. I actually have a really, really small face so it's hard for me with sunglasses and these ones I feel like really, really just elevate any look 
and they're just, I always get compliments on them. They're super cute. I love them. You could probably even find a pair on Amazon that are probably similar. I'll hunt and see if I can find a dupe on Amazon that these are similar. I actually, Ross has me get his sunglasses off of Amazon because he's like, I will never spend any money on sunglasses because he beats them up. He's like, I lose them all the time. I break them. He goes, I'm not great with sunglasses. So he goes, I will never have expensive sunglasses. But I'm a little bit better. I keep mine in my case. So <laughs> I take care of them. And I really, really like those ones. And those have been like a huge love of mine since he got them for me. Last but not least, I have a clothing love that I have been obsessed with. Oh my gosh, I love these so much. This is the Free People Romper right here. It's like their Righteous Runzy Romper. It comes in so many different colors. I actually got this color because it's like discontinued everywhere and you can't find it anywhere. I got off of Poshmark and I've been going to Poshmark a lot for like like um, Free People stuff and because you get it so much more inexpensive and it's perfect. So I love these ones. This color is so stinking cute. I like them because one, you have your whole outfit just in one clothing product, which is great. So it's nice and easy. And then also it's great for me to just like run around, chase kids in, just be active in. That's why I live in active wear is because I just need something like comfortable that I'm just like going and going and going. And I love all the colors of these too. So I have actually purchased the Amazon dupe for these and I didn't like it. I sent it back. I was not a fan of it. I didn't like it at all. I felt like the cut was different. Everything was kind of just different and it just wasn't as flattering as the Free People one was for me. I know that the first color that I bought in this one, I bought a medium and it works, but I wish I would've got a small because after that one, I bought all smalls and they fit way better because it also just is, everything's a little bit tighter. Yeah, so I'm a small in this one and I have it now in this pink. I have it in a hot pink. I have it in like a more like bold fall color pink, like a magenta and then also a blue. <laughs> So I'm done. I'm not getting any more. I'm good right now. But no, I just like them. They're super easy to put on. And also I love kind of like styling them up where I'll put like a chunky necklace with them too. And it just looks really, really cute. And this color is so adorable. So if I can find any more of these or if you guys want to get a good deal on them, go to Poshmark. You can usually find them there. But I love the Righteous Onesies. And I know a lot of people share the dupes for them but I just was not a fan. I was, I was pick, I'm picky about my clothes and I want them to fit a certain way and I just felt like the dupe just did not do that. All right, so those were all my August favorites that I've been loving. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I'll have everything linked down below if you wanna get a closer look at anything. And also feel free to comment your like favorites that you've had for the month of August. I would love to get some recommendations from you guys too. And I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you next time. Bye.